So it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, we literally were cutting all week and I didn't care to make another one of that because that sucked. But we finally got some other stuff going on. We're rebuilding the middle rake before we do fourth cut. Chris, I've already took this spring off and they just fling off. And uh, that one works a lot better now since it's been rebuilt. We're doing this one. We got the parts for it. And then, depending on if we want to or not, we might do this one next year. Yeah, I think so. Because it's only fifth cut after and we don't yeah, do... That good, so. it, do it doesn't sound too bad. This one right here sounded rough. Um, so, we'll see. It all depends on how it sounds after fourth cut, because this one didn't sound bad at, at the beginning either. And then by the time we got done, it didn't sound good anymore. So we're taking this apart. He took the uh, motor off. No, no, it's just the cover and the wires for that. This plate comes off. That unhooks it from the rake. And then we can roll it inside in the shade, because even though yesterday it was like 60 degrees, today it's 81. Is it 81? It's 81. So we're gonna go inside in the shade. Running those chainsaws in the 90s and 100s. How much weight did you lose? I think almost 10 pounds in 10 days. Look at that. I gained some back. Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> those bolts come off. And then the same on this side. Here, you can just give it over here. Basically, those are all the bolts that hold it on. From the looks of it, this is the only one move. Yeah, it may not look like a lot, but it's normally yeah. always seized. Hammer! We're gonna slide it back and then uh, push it inside. No. We're getting a bar. She's apart. Oh, she's off. And we'll roll her in. I'll move my uh, ladder that was a camera stand. Butt the whole way in. Anybody likes it, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, I like the video for Kristoff's butt, apparently. I'll get the gun, I'll take that off. We're gonna tear this apart now. We got this. He's getting phone calls, and we're gonna get some boxes for all this stuff. Hello? He's blowing it off! We'll start by taking these rake arms off. And then uh, we've also noticed there's a like an inch of play. There's a lot of play. There's a lot of play right there with that. You can't really see it on camera, but 
it moves a lot and it shouldn't. So we're gonna have to see what's wrong there. Yep. You gonna show him the John Deere? Oh yeah. We've been working on the deer every now and then for like 30 minutes for the last couple of days after other stuff and the we've air filter we went through like two filters they kept turning black on us figured out it was sucking uh the exhaust fumes in through this little tube but it didn't make any sense and you can't take the hood off or you can't get in there with the hood on there so we took it off and we found out this is plugged like when i mean plugged it'll turn a light on yeah i think it can see in there there's a lot of hay in there. So I plugged it solid after, I don't know how many years, um, you could never get in there. So we took the hood off. That's just sitting over there. And then I was working in the cab. Um, this was all loose and it rattled a ridiculously amount to where like you get a headache from it being so loud. So fix that the other day too. So we just got to unplug it and it should be good to go and put new air filters in it again. And we'll fix this too. We have reached our first roadblock. I got all the nuts off these bolts and apparently he wants to break his hand with a hammer. Son of a bitch. So yeah, this little bolt. Get the torches. <laughs> it doesn't want to come out. We got the nut off. But, yeah. Ain't no nut going back on there. <laughs> he got his bolt out. Now he got his... It wasn't a bolt. Oh, okay. What a roll pin with a bolt in it. Then he got his bolt stuck. It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. I was torching. Christoph's kids are back. From school. They're back to school. Oh, it's peaceful. I like it when they go to school. What, what'd you, what happened, Davey? She got stung, yeah. stung by a bee. In the house. In the house. Um, we want to take this apart and then get it separated before we pull the arms off. That's flying everywhere. That way we have extra weight pulling it apart like last time. Hammer works better than a wrench apparently. This is what happens when Kristoff lets his kids stay in the truck. <laughs> Marcus, why'd you do it? I didn't. You're the one who got out last. I think you did do it. <laughs> we put it on the crane. It's doing the same thing as last time. It is just pulling the bottom up, not separating. So that's why we kept the shitty sockets we beat the crap out of last time. I gotta find a uh, and we're gonna beat the shit out of it again until it comes apart. And we sprayed some lube in there, which is probably not gonna do anything. But yeah. We got Kristoff hitting. I gotta get something to hold it. Did it move? It already moved. Marcus can move because that sucker's flying. Oh. Did it move? I think so. You got a smaller one. Oh, I can't find our big pliers. I know they were there somewhere. Maybe they're not in a machine. They're in a machine. I want to see. But it's moving because we were flush. We were a lot higher.
I think you're causing more sparks than. I did one hit. But you went a lot last time. Alright, keep going. Alright. Oh. And that one. Alright. There we go. That went a lot faster than last time. Anyway. It's almost like we just did this a month ago. Go pick that side up. Yep. Yeah, she so got lubed. Not bad. This one doesn't look as bad as no, not. the last one, but uh, maybe we gotta clean some teeth up. We thought that last time too. Yeah. But she was lubed at least. Yeah, me is that thing. Look. Why does it look like this bearing's moved? Right, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, we might have found where our play is coming from. Yeah. We got those all off. You'll probably see that we pulled the torches out. One of the bolts was stripped and we had to cut the nut off. Now we're just cleaning this. We're gonna figure out why this bearing moved because there should be a snap ring there that holds it in place. So it's kind of weird that it moved. And then uh, we'll get it all separated here. These are shorter arms than the last one because they're in the center. So they are a different length, but the front and rear are the same length. But all these other parts there's, are the same as the front and back. And then there's one roll pin. You can see it was already broken and working its way out. These bearings sound horrible, uh, just like the other rake. So it needs all, or, yeah, the other rake. Well, this ain't broken. What's, you find it? No, I said this, these, this one ain't broken. Well, that's good. Those aren't, these are not cheap. take some pictures that way we don't uh, forget spacers and shims it's left and underneath and we can't tell I think so. and I ain't holding that thing you hit that marker pretty good I missed it I know <laughs> can we just no. want the hand but I'll smash it here oh what'd you even hit she must have moved. Yeah. Oh, she's 
going. Well, I was gone for a minute, and Kristoff got it off. He tapped it with a hammer, he said. Um, Phillip's out here. He's doing the oil change on the 74. We like to do it around, like, every 500 hours. That one doesn't have a computer, though, like the 280, 480s, so it doesn't tell us, so I have it written in the window. So we just got to keep an eye on it to make sure we do it. And then I do like that about the 84s with the computer. It warns you like 50 hours ahead. That one you gotta always be watching it. Like the other tractors. So he has a key way to Oh mother I did not do that one. <laughs> he has a key way right there. Take out and then we can finish sliding that bottom bearing up. We got Philip doing the oil change. Yeah. That was a do. We never did clean up the sandblasting sand, but it's not a big deal. He's just doing it there so that we didn't have to move it. Um, we should clean up in the shop someday, right? I know. Someday, but we've just been too damn busy. Uh, we got that tore all the way apart. Uh, we we're just making sure everything was good. It's fine now. Uh, so pretty much we just have to go through it. What? Well, now we're gonna finish this. Where is the filter? Uh, filters on the down. Here's the filter. Uh, it's not horrible. This one ain't. You just change it. It only has about 50 hours on it. Yeah. We did this one because we didn't have time to pull it apart and we really didn't know what was wrong. We kind of figured this was the issue, but uh, we didn't really. We were spanking shit. We were just getting stuff done, so we ran it. Um, it works. This, we know the sensor works at uh, air blockage, so that's that's good to know. Yep. Um, so we're gonna tear that apart now, and then this make sure this is done. Lower down the house. No, that's in your pickup. Is it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Bolts off. Then we can pull this right off. I see this hose broke. Um, we'll have to get that someday. Yeah, we'll order it tomorrow. We have to order a couple of stuff for this anyways. Uh, a mount that holds the exhaust right there. It broke, it rattles under the cab. And then we can get this tractor out, out and ready to go because the cab's done. We gotta order a, this, the cab kit. It got ripped after so many years, but blow it out. Get a new filter, I have one down in the shop. Yep, and then uh. That'll be good. We can put the hood back on. No, we gotta wait. Oh, it. yeah. Maybe you can cut it and just stick it on. I guess. If it's long enough. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. I think she's pretty plugged. Jeez. And we can't get it separated right here. Oh there's a mouse nest in there. Right. That could have happened. Yep, that's cute. Maybe that's where all the horsepower went. I bet, half of it. She barely had any to start with. Yeah, okay, hold it. It's like we just added a turbo kit. Hey. It's almost like a filter. <laughs> it was a pretty damn good filter. All right, so Chris, I've had to leave. He got a phone call. He'll be back in a little bit, but I've been, um, I, I threw the light in there. 
and then I took the air blower and literally went through each single one of those like several times I blew it out for like 15 minutes now made sure air was coming all the way through to here pretty good I might blow it back a little bit just to make sure everything's out and then it'll be ready to go Phillips almost done with that oil change and that tractor will be good to go for fourth cut and this John Deere needs this put back on after and then we got to order this pipe she finished breaking when we pulled it off oh. all right catch you somewhere I blew this off so it's clean put this back in line these bolts up there Now, just gonna get those two bolts in, and this will be secure again. And then we'll get this pipe or hose ordered. Should be ready to rock. Christoph's back. You want to start it? Yeah, why not? It ain't. Going. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Ah, uh, yeah, little ones in yeah, it. Little ones I'll take this piece off. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't gonna hurt nothing. <laughs> no more rattling, right? Oh, this was horrible. You guys don't even understand. It was all. I JB welded a shit ton in there. What are you doing? Playing with the seat? Shut it off. Yeah, the kids were, uh, this was the pumping tractor, so they had a... Shithole mess in here. It was like an amusement park for them. Must have been, oh no, it's crayons. I was gonna say cigarettes, but they're crayons. Crayons. Cigarettes, oh my god. No, there is zero smoking in our equipment. Zero tolerance for it. You can smoke, but you're getting out. Right, Philip? Great, yeah. No, I don't smoke. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we don't. There's no smoking in our equipment. But this, so you could sense the power, right? Oh yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> no, you can't tell until we hook something onto it. But hopefully that helps. Mm. Um, it can't hurt because that was plugged solid. This rake will get a lot more of it done tomorrow. But we got to order a couple parts we saw, um, and order the parts for that. Yep. And Phillips, are you done with that oil yeah, change? He's gonna put the. Uh... Decals. Oh, the panels. And I gotta write the new hour numbers in the cab. It's got the blue filters on it. Oh, the old different kind of filters. You gonna manage it? I got it. <laughs> she might need a blowout. Yeah, she does. She's yeah. well loaded. Yeah. The old grass got to her. These suck to blow out. They're they so suck. compact. There's another one right up in there, but that one's that one's almost never bad. Bobby, it's just best by new one, my new filter. All right. Yeah, is it compact in here? Good. Oh, yeah, These are nuts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Special. Yeah, but special. that'll be it for this video. Till the next one. Hopefully, I can make a couple yeah, more this week. I went a whole week without making any, but we'll see what's coming. Yeah, Stay tuned. Right. Anything to say, Christoph? Nope. Have a good night. <laughs> and tell your friends and subscribe. <laughs>